The books of Bible prophecy have long been shrouded in mystery. Ancient texts, cryptic numbers, symbolic imagery, all depicting awesome apocalyptic events soon to come. Is it really possible to understand what they mean? What is the mark of the beast? Is it, as some say, a computer chip implanted under the skin, or even something more insidious? And what about the Antichrist? Has this sinister enemy of God already made his appearance? Or is he still waiting in the shadows? Will some terrorist event trigger Earth's final tribulation? Will we witness the horrors of Armageddon and the seven last plagues? What do we need to know to avoid being left behind when the Lord returns? Will we recognize the last days and know what to expect? What you're about to experience will reveal what the Bible really says about Earth's end time events. Join me now as we uncover the amazing facts behind the final events of Bible prophecy. But you, Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book until the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall increase. The end of the world, will it ever happen? If so, when? This is one of the most important and mysterious questions of all time. The biblical prophet Daniel clearly predicted that just prior to the end of the world, we'd witness a dramatic increase in knowledge. Has it happened? Consider, for instance, how dramatically modes of transportation have changed in recent times. For 60 centuries, man could travel no faster than the quickest horse. Now voyages that once required months are achieved in minutes. In one generation, the computer revolution has brought about mind-boggling changes that our ancestors could never have even imagined. But an even more accurate interpretation of this verse is that knowledge concerning the prophetic books would increase. And as predicted, this has happened too. But the writings of Daniel are not the only ones in the Bible that speak of last day events. What other knowledge could be hidden within the ancient texts of scripture? And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. 
and there will be famines, pestilences, and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. One can quickly look around the globe and see that both political and natural forces have made the modern world an increasingly dangerous place to live. Think about it. Within the last hundred years, the world has had to endure two world wars and numerous other major conflicts, not to mention the rise of international terrorism. Add to this the marked increase in deadly natural disasters, including earthquakes, fires, floods, tornadoes, killer storms and bizarre weather, all continuing to wreak havoc on planet Earth. Amazingly, the Apostle John predicted that another sign of the last days would be man's ability to destroy the planet. In Revelation 11, verse 18, he said, the time would come when God would destroy those who destroy the earth. It's clear that this prophecy has been vividly fulfilled. For centuries, man could do little more than just shoot flaming arrows or lob cannonballs at his enemy. But now we possess devastating weapons that can quickly render life on this planet extinct. In fact, Jesus even predicted that if his coming were postponed, no flesh would survive. Christ warned that we would have to face all these dangers, but they would only be the beginning of the end. Could it be that there's something mankind does to trigger Earth's final events? But know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good. Anyone who has lived through the past several decades cannot deny the steady and frightening moral freefall of modern society. Each generation continually pushes the envelope of acceptable behavior. As a result, each succeeding generation operates under a lower moral standard than the one before. And unfortunately, there appears to be no end to this shameful trend. In Noah's day, chronic moral decay led to global destruction from a flood. In Lot's time, the perverted depravity of Sodom and Gomorrah led to the annihilation of these cities by fire from heaven. As it was also in the days of Lot, they ate, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they built. But on the day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so will it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. And so in our day, could it be that rampant immorality and perversion will once again call down judgments from heaven? Along with society's moral decline, the Bible also warns that in the last days, there will be a dramatic rise in spiritualism and the occult. Now the Spirit expressly says that in latter times, some will depart from the faith, giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. The practice of communicating with the dead, long forbidden by the scriptures, is fast becoming acceptable even in modern churches. Television programs and movies featuring witchcraft in the occult themes have become extremely popular, especially among the young people. In spite of all this rampant spiritualism and immorality, the Bible teaches that where sin abounds, grace abounds even more. And so one exciting bright spot of the last days is Jesus' promise that just before his return, the gospel would go to all the world. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all the nations, and then the end will come. The once seemingly insurmountable task of communicating the gospel to the four corners of the earth is fast becoming a reality. Through missionaries, books, tapes, satellite broadcasts, and the internet, the gospel work is fast accelerating around the world. The message of salvation has never had wider distribution than today. 
The Bible reveals that we are obviously living in Earth's final days. The increase in knowledge, global instability, moral decline, and the explosive interest in the occult all testify that the end is near. The final signs are fast being fulfilled, but there's more. The Bible also warns that it is these opposing forces of good and evil that will ultimately bring the world to the Battle of Armageddon. At some point soon, some unknown global crisis will plunge the entire planet into the most terrifying events the world has ever seen. For then there will be great tribulation such as has not been since the beginning of the world until this time, no, nor ever shall be. What catastrophe will trigger this final crisis? And when will it happen? Could it be some devastating act of terrorism? Some international economic crash? Maybe even an earthquake, asteroid, or some other cataclysmic event? Perhaps it's some chemical calamity or deadly biological plague? Maybe even a combination of these disasters? But while the Bible doesn't reveal the exact critical event, it does reveal the dramatic scenes that will follow. Coming up in our next section, you'll learn more about these astounding final events, shocking events, that even most Christians are unprepared to meet.